As identifying as Black or African American in the United States, we understand that mental health has taken a toll on the Black community. About 13.4% of the U.S. population identifies as Black or African American. That means nearly 46 million people in the United States identify themselves as Black and African American. Black and African American people hold beliefs related to stigma, psychological openness, and help seeking, which in turn affects their coping behaviors. These people are predominantly black men that are concerned about the stigma. But suicidal plans, thoughts, and attempts are taking over our young adults, and we need to be able to stop this. 2020, suicide was the third leading cause of death, respectively, for blacks or African Americans ages 15 to 24. The death rate from suicide for black or African men was four times greater than for African American women in 2018. In 2014, 80% of suicide deaths in the black community were men. As black men, we deal with lots of childhood trauma, police brutality, and racism. Things like binge drinking, smoking cigarettes and marijuana, illicit drug use, and prescription pain reliever misuse are more frequent among Black and African American adults with mental illnesses. And although Black men's suicide rate is lower than the white or Hispanic race, not reaching out for help is removing lots of strong Black men from our community. As Black men, we must break the stigma of believing that we are weak for struggling mentally. Believing that we are weak will only put us at even more harm. If you feel yourself showing the signs of extreme mood changes, suicidal thinking, excessive drug or alcohol use, or increased anger or sadness, then reach out to your primary care provider or a mental health professional as soon as possible. If you have suicidal thoughts, contact the suicide hotline or call 911 immediately. Black men, you are appreciated. Let's get help now. All sources are provided.